Hello, my name is Sascha Preibisch and today I would like to talk about the question um, or the topic OAuth versus LDAP. It's a question I saw on Twitter, it's a while ago, but I felt that uh, this question doesn't really work and needs an answer. <clears throat> so the highlights, there's no such thing as OAuth versus LDAP. And the context I read the question was um, if developers would authenticate users using LDAP or using uh, OAuth. And this doesn't work, and I would like to explain why. And one of the reasons is that OAuth is an authorization framework, and during an authorization flow, a user may be authenticated. So it's not the main purpose of uh, OAuth to authenticate a user. And LDAP is a, is a directory service that contains users and uh, users' passwords and other user details. And a LDAP can answer a question uh, such as if a password is valid. But uh, I will show how they relate to each other. So this is an image that I've created a while ago. I'm sorry that it's not super sharp, but I don't have the original anymore. What I wanted to show is the upper path um, would be the case where LDAP is used um, within a web application and the goal is to display a login screen and have the user authenticate by providing his username and his password. So the web application would collect the username and password, the web application would be connected to an LDAP server and the LDAP server would respond with uh, either deny or with uh, a success message and return a few details about the user. And this is how an LDAP can be used. And in this context, it's all about authentication. The purpose is to authenticate the user. OAuth, on the other hand, it's uh, the main purpose is to authorize a client. And um, LDAP and OAuth relate to each other uh, as in if there is an authorization flow, the OAuth client requests authorization to access certain resources and the authorization server needs um, the user's permission, the user's consent in order to grant access to these resources. And to do that, the authorization server needs to authenticate the user, just like the web application did. And the uh, authorization server may ask for username and password, and will also check against an LDAP server, just as the web application did. But in this case, this server's main purpose is not the authentication part, but uh, asking the user if he's willing to grant access to the resources for this client. So in this case, um, I, I said user authentication is just a side effect and it's mainly meant because um, it is just part of the authorization flow. So the client authenticates and the client credentials may even be stored in an LDAP also. In this case, there's a separate database, but there are implementations that you don't use an LDAP server for that also. The user authenticates and in the end the client will receive a access token in order to connect to protected resources. So I hope this uh, picture visualizes that and answers um, not the question OAuth versus LDAP but it helps to distinguish between those two and how they relate to each other. This is all for this video. Um, as of today, I had 501 subscribers. Thank you very much for that. And I will prepare a few more OAuth related videos that I will pr publish soon. If you like this video or my other videos, please leave a comment. If you have a topic that you would like me to talk about, please um, put a note in the comments also. And if you are really happy with uh, my videos, I'll present them and if uh, you feel they help you, you may even buy me a coffee if you feel like it. So uh, please subscribe and have a good day.